let's not be trying to play games with these kinds of small things to try to pull us into a direction. All that matters in this election, and I, I, and I genuinely mean this, all that matters in this election, the only thing that matters in this election is keeping Donald Trump and Project 2025 out of power. Keeping that in, in, insane ideology of white Christian nationalism and white supremacy and white male Christian dominance out of power. That's all that matters. I genuinely don't care who the Democratic nominee is, and I'm being real. Hey there, my name is Devori Darkins. Welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, we're going to be reacting to this Joy Reid deranged rant going on about white male Christian nationalism, Project 2025. A lot of the fear based talking points that the left loves to use, even though it's not really rooted in any reality, even though it's not really rooted in any facts, they're going to use it because this is what they do. They want to trigger you emotionally, right? What does Hollywood do? When you sit down and watch a movie, what do they do first in like the first five minutes of the movie? They try to get you emotionally triggered, right? And this is what the media will do is they will say statements, they will use headlines, uh, they will have the talking points. I mean, if we were to put together the clips from each different news outlet, you're going to hear them say the same thing over and over and over again. And in this video, it's no different, just really triggered. And quite frankly, I think it's embarrassing when someone goes out of the way to do something like this. But before we get into that video, you know what to do. Like, share, and subscribe. Now let's play the video. All that matters in this election, the only thing that matters in this election is keeping Donald Trump and Project 2025 out of power. No, the one thing that actually matters in any election is that people are voting based on facts, based on their values, and actually getting thorough, legitimate, based in reality information, right? If you're going to vote based on how you feel, that is the problem with America now, right? And this is what, like I said, this is what the mainstream media likes to do. They want to get you emotionally out of control because that means they are in control of you, okay? It's... it's it's just ridiculous, honestly. Keeping that in, in, insane ideology of white Christian nationalism and white supremacy and white male Christian dominance out of power, that's all that matters. So obviously she's implying that white Christian nas nationalism is a problem. I wonder how many people, if you walk down the street, know what a white national uh, or a white Christian nationalist is. like. I mean, who comes up with these labels? Who comes up with these terms, right? It, they're, they're, they're like these, these labels that they place on different parts of our American society. And I guess it's supposed to mean something, right? It's supposed to mean that if you're this, then, then this and this and this is true. It's like saying, if, if because my color of skin is black, that must mean X, Y, or Z. That's not true. That's not true. We're all Americans at the end of the day. And what facts, right? What studies, right? What, please provide the receipts that show why a white Christian nationalist is a problem in this country. I, I'm just, if, if I'm being objectively fair here, right? Can you at least show that when you make a heavy claim? I mean, come on. I genuinely don't care who the Democratic nominee is. And I'm being real. I don't care. If it's Biden, fine. If it's Kamala Harris, fabulous, right? But it's going to be one of the two of them. Let's just not play crazy games now. There are, there are rules the way that this process works. It's one of the two of them. Either one, I don't care. Or you, you want to parachute somebody else in and they're not him. They're not the orange one. They're not the one who quotes Hitler. Fine, put him in. I don't care. Because all that matters, I'm going to say this to y'all again, all that matters in this upcoming election is that you keep that man and that Project 2025 plan out of power. That's all, that you, that's all you need to understand. And to do that, you are going to need to vote against the party that has embraced white Christian nationalism. The Republican Party is gone. It has been replaced by Project 2025 and MAGA and Trump. That's all that's left. Okay, so yeah, let's say this really quick so right now the big talking point that the left is using is project 2025 and they're wrapping this project 2025 in a nice scary uh rhetoric so when they say it 
right? Like think of how the media works. Words definitely mean things, right, in, in life. We all know this. And what the media is so good at is taking words and like applying different meanings to it in a short period of time and being and being very effective with it. So for an example, they're not gonna go on the news and truly discern the good parts of Project 2025 and the bad parts of it. They're just gonna say it's all bad and then they're gonna say it's Trump's policy and this is gonna be the end of our nation, right? That's what they do. They wrap it up in fear-based rhetoric. Now, I would encourage any of you guys to truly go read Project 2025. There's no official endorsement from Donald Trump, okay? Um, there's no official support from Donald Trump. There never has been. And there hasn't been any public uh, endorsement from anyone in his camp, in his circle officially on Project 2025. So, you know, again, the media is going to stretch the truth because they have the authority to do so. No one's really going to hold them accountable. And so this is why I, I love this channel, Mindset Matters, because your mindset matters in situations like this where they come out, they say something that's fear-based. It's on you to use your mind, your thinking, your critical thinking skills to say, hey, well, wait a minute. Is it really that? Let me go read that. Let me go educate myself first. Let me not just take Joy Reid's emotional rant for face value, right? Let me let me go see if what she's saying is really true. I mean, that's what I would do, right? The point is, is you cannot buy into someone's emotional negative rhetoric. That party is gone. And that means you have to vote against that letter R all the way down the ballot. You have to keep them out of power at the state level, keep them out of power at the federal level, or remove them from power at the state and federal level. That means anything with the R on it is toxic. Anything with the R on it is going to take your birth control. Anything with the R on it is going to make you register uh, and take the military, um, the military preparatory test in high school so that you're ready to be cannon fodder for them, to be deployed on the streets of the United States to shoot Americans who are protesting. They're going to take away your education. They're going to take away your opportunity to go to college. They're Okay, so they're going to take away your education. Okay, what what education exactly? <laughs> the current education system now, please take that away cuz it's not working, right? We all know that. They're going to take our ability to go go to college away, really. So they're going to stop people from going to medical school. They're going to stop people from becoming lawyers. I'd like to really really see that. I wish they would actually uh, stop people from going to college and getting secondary degrees uh and going into debt for that. Like who gets a business degree and go and goes into debt for eighty thousand? Like that doesn't make any sense. You want to go into debt for eighty thousand? Go start the business, right? So, like, please, we should take the education system away, throw it in the trash, and start fresh with a new one. I mean, that's just the way I see it. And take away your books, your history. They're going to take away your right to even know the history of this country. They're going to replace it with so-called patriotic education. Okay, hold on, I got to what's funny if you really listen carefully and then go observe the facts and what's actually happening you will see that the rhetoric that the left is using they are actually doing these things right now she's talking about going into the school system and replacing the books with patriotic i would hope we would have patriot uh, patriotic stuff uh, in this country we should love our country this is where we reside this is our citizenship but the point is is that they're doing exactly what they say you should be scared of Donald Trump will do. They're already doing it. They've already done it. That's that's why that's why you got to think for yourself. They're going to get rid of the Department of Education, meaning no more Pell Grants, no more money for school, no more student loans, no more equality for girls sports. All of it gone, replaced with this white Christian nationalist insanity. Mm. And they want to do that, not just federal, but state. The Republican Party at the state level is just as bad or worse. Mm. Baby, ladies, gentlemen, friends, mm. <laughs> nothing else matters. Right, right. So so basically every state, the whole government should just be blue, right? It should be 100% Democrat. Got it. That's the insanity that we're dealing with. You see, 
myself and plenty of conservatives that I know personally and other people that I follow, I never get the inclination it's this way or that's it, right? Conservatives are at least willing to say, hey, you know what? This is the, the way that we would like it, but it's not the end all be all, okay? We'll meet you halfway. We understand that this is a democracy. It's limited, right? That's why it's a republic. But there's three branches of government, right? There's 50 states with their own government, their state and federal. Why would you want a blanket a policy, right? That defeats the purpose of America. Let California be blue. Let Texas be red. Let New York be blue. Let Florida be red. That's fine. You know why? Because that gives people the ability to choose the life they want to live. You want to live in California under those policies? Go right on ahead. You don't want to? Move to Florida. Go, go to Texas. Do whatever you want because you have a freedom to, right? When they're talking like this, you can hear they're trying to take away freedoms and then impress their ideology on everything. But they're going to use that rhetoric to scare you, right? Nothing else matters but stopping Trump, the Republican Party, and Project 2025 in November. You have 119 days to get to get to get right with that and get comfortable with that. That's Got all it. that matters. OK. Yep. And the only way to stop them is with our votes. Mm. Got it. Yep. That's it. That's the only way to stop them. That's right. With your votes. That's actually it's the only way to stop that type of rhetoric with your vote. Right. So my mindset on this is very clear. Don't listen to someone like this who is deranged. She's emotionally triggered. She's out of control. She's using fear based tactics because she's part of the mainstream media. She has her own show. And that is how they get people to click. That's how they get people to watch. And that's how they start programming people to buy into these policies and these ideas, even though they're not rooted in reality. So what is your mindset around this? Do you believe what she is saying? What I mean, do you have a problem with Christian nationalism? What is it anyway? Right. Share all your answers in your comments below. Thank you so much for checking out this video today and we'll see you in the next one. <laughs>